I'm the mother of Paige Monroe, who attended Daycroft from preschool through sixth grade. Um, she graduated from Daycroft in 2004. She then graduated from Pioneer High School in 2010. She's currently at the State University of New York in New Paltz, New York, um, which is one of the top schools in the country, I should add, um, for her specific art major, which is metal and jewelry design. So back when Paige was three, I was looking for a preschool program. And the school year had already started, but she and I went to uh, Daycroft for a two hour um, get acquainted visit at the uh, Daycroft original campus, which is over on South Main Street. And of course I needed to find out. Uh, I didn't know anything about the Montessori Foundation, uh, Daycroft as a school. Um, we wanted to look at the class structure, meet the teachers, um, you know, life as a preschooler, what was that gonna be like for her? And they were also gonna assess her development, her social skills, and see if she was gonna be a good fit. Because they do like to keep the classes and the student population diverse. And so it was from that two hour visit that my decision was made. The edu educational environment that we entered into with 18 preschoolers that day was creative and productive. It was orderly and interesting. It was stimulating and fun. And then when they came together for the sharing circle, I honestly wished that I was three years old again. I really <laughs> wanted to be part of that circle. I did. <laughs> um, it was only a week later that the school administrator called to say that an opening had come up and that Paige could start the following week. Despite my then husband's hesitation about the cost, Paige attended uh, Daycraft Montessori for eight years in total. Um, she met her best friend, Laura Kemp, in preschool that day. And Paige and Laura had been best friends for 17 years. Um, the relationships formed at this school last a lifetime. So um, really, what I want to tell you is that Daycraft is where Paige received the foundation for her entire education. She graduated with honors and a 3.92 GPA from Pioneer High School, and she has received two academic scholarships from SUNY New Paltz. Paige is where, or Daycroft is where Paige received her first exposure to art. Miss Suzanne was Paige's first art teacher, and her influence on Paige is part of the reason she's chosen to pursue art as a career. Paige received four private art scholarships and was awarded the prestigious Saul Bell Emerging Artists Award in 2010. Daycroft is where Paige learned her first leadership skills, which she used during her high school tennis career. She played tennis since she was seven or eight years old. And she won three state individual titles in tennis, and she led her team her senior year to win the um, state title as a team. So, <clears throat> Also in 2006, two years after leaving Daycroft, Paige was di diagnosed with cancer, Hodgkin's lymphoma, and she was very sick, um, having four rounds of chemotherapy and three weeks of daily radiation. The support that we as a family received from this school, even though she was you know, two years after graduating, was, was just amazing and unbelievable. Um, you'd be happy to know that Paige is cancer-free today. Day Daycroft holds a special place in my family's heart, and I am so proud of the accomplishments of my daughter and know that this is where she learned to love learning, to be a leader, and to rely on community and strong relationships. So I told Paige that I was, you know, at the last minute stepping in for her father, and I asked her what, what stood out in her mind, what she would like for me to tell you, and she said, and I quote, Mom, I love everything about that school. So, <laughs> Thank you for listening to me tell our experience of Daycroft, and it's been my pleasure to be here with you this morning.